you know what time it is it's total time thank you guys you're on my time we're gonna do a little differently i decided you know record something while i'm walking a little zoe as you can see taking her on a little uh afternoon stroll had a little busy day this morning had a uh, three doctor's appointments 8 50 for my blood pressure 11 30 for my uh for my what was it on oh, my foot i have to put a spacer in between my toes because my toes be uh rubbing against each other then i went to the doctors for my knee the back of my knee be swelling up so yeah if you guys out there you gotta make sure you gotta take care of your body listen to your body and uh, listen to this the signs your body gives you and you know you gotta keep check up on that and your life you only get one life so you gotta take care of it guys it's the most important thing your body <sighs> Lo's always always excited because there's dogs usually right here. But they're she's looking for them. I swear she acts like she never gets out, man. But uh yeah, I'm gonna probably record this episode while I walk Zoe. And then I'm gonna record uh it some more when I go on a bike ride today. I'll try to record. I don't have a a dock to hold my phone, so I'm gonna try to record from there and then probably finish up when I'm done. We're probably gonna get some coffee or food. And I'll start recording there too. But yeah, that's what the Super Bowl's coming up. You guys already know who I got. It's gonna be the Bucks being the Chiefs. Tom Brady's going down as the GOAT. Uh, I just don't see them losing. They're having the momentum. The defense is playing well. Mahomes is a young GOAT, like I said, but Tom Brady's a man, man. There ain't no stopping that. And uh, it should be interesting. I'm probably gonna stay off social media and focus on the game. I don't wanna give all you trolls energy or time. Not worth it, cause y'all gonna be in my mentions like y'all were in my mentions against Green Bay when we when we started doing bad. But y'all was quiet when we was winning. So I'm gonna stay off Twitter, focus on the game. Uh, the big news, the Rams traded uh, Jerry Goff to the Lions for Matthew Stafford. I mean, I, they gave up a lot, man. But I feel like they gave up those first round picks just so they can get rid of that contract because that contract was terrible. I mean, I was always against Jared Goff. I was always trolling him. I went to the game last year, Tampa Bay versus the Bucks, uh, Bucks versus the Rams. I was trolling him. I was like, 100, 100 something mil for what? For that? For picks? Talking smack. My uncle, my uncle Sergio, shout out my uncle Sergio. He took me to the game. He always uh, usually. Uh, it's a shit talker, and he was worried about me for shit talking. I was like, I got this from you, huh? And uh, he was all scared. How you doing? You ready for the Super Bowl? Yeah, yeah, that's an exciting game. Yeah, hopefully we can take it, man. Uh, some, I think it's the first uh, stop. Whoever gets the first turnover, I think is the one that's gonna win. But the Chiefs got Tyreek Hill. That, that dude's fast. And then Travis Kelsey is like the number one tight end. So we shall see. How's the car? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is it almost done or just it's little by little? Done. Yeah. Okay. Add something new to it. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Okay. Crisp and clean. For sure. I need to see you when you're done, brother. Oh, it's, it's coming along. It's All right. Coming along. All right. Have a good one. Thank Take you. care. You, thank you. You too. She's out here. Getting excited. How you doing? But yeah. I had to talk to my neighbor. I always talk to him when I go on the walk. I still need to ask for his name. He fixed his uh, old school cars. And uh, back to my uncle. He, uh, they gave me. He was all worried. Hey, man. Drew, stop talking smack. I was like, dude, I get that from you. Like, you're the reason why I talk smack. And he was like, relax, dude. Big little sissy lala. Uncle Serge, I know you're going to watch this. Come here, Zo. Say hi to the camera. Say hi. But, <clears throat> yeah, so, I mean, Matthew Stafford, he's going to be good for the Rams. He's not scared like Jerry Goff. And when you put pressure on Jerry Goff, that dude, it's a big cry, baby. Little gets happy feet, gets worried, and just throws a ball, and they don't have to, uh, I feel like for uh, Sean McVay, you know, he doesn't have to run that the little small slants motion for Jared Goff. That's like some high school freaking offense. He didn't have faith in him. 
So Matthew Stafford, he's going to sling that ball. But I think the Rams need to get a, like a, I mean, they have good receivers with small little dudes, but I think they need to get like a big receiver, like a Galladay. Or I saw that Marvin Jones, he's, he's solid on the outside. Is that boy Cooper Cup always gets hurt too. So we shall see, man. Uh, it's going to be interesting next year. It's uh, for the Rams. It's gonna be winner, winner of us, cause their future. They don't got no picks, but I mean, hey, you can always find uh, some gems in the late round. Godwin was a gem in the late round, but yeah, I just got, uh, just wanna let y'all know. Just you know, hopefully you guys are having a good, good week. It's Wednesday, Hump Day. Be sure to take care of everybody, like I said in the beginning. Get your mind right. Where, why are you limping? Oh, she's not limping anymore. I swear, she'd be I always walk her every single day. And she'd be there acting like she never gets walked. But yeah, take care of your mind and body. And uh, let's keep going, man. 2021. So off to a good groove. It's February already. To me, I feel like January flew by. So I don't remember what I fucking did during during January. I, uh, now February, I can't wait till it's like March or April, spring. I'm not really a fan of the winter. Y'all see my shirt right here. It's my favorite shirt. Shout out my girl Erica. Gives me powers, man. I swear, when I be in the gym, wearing my Mike Tyson shirt, I'll be picturing myself as Mike Tyson, going all crazy, throwing weights around. But life is good, man. Picked up three new books because I forgot my dumbass forgot my books at, at home. I just woke up late for my appointment and I had like so 8:50. My next appointment was at 11:30, so I had a big ass gap. So I had to go get some books and I got some uh, two of them basically like the mind of a samurai and whatnot. I feel like the samurai, that culture, Japanese culture is. It's very interesting. I like how samurais are like disciplined, loyal. So I want to read about, read up on that. And I got one, another one. Open your mind. It's like a, not just a workout for the gym and stuff like that. It's about life too, as well. It's not just about lifting weights and stuff. So I'm gonna hit that too. Still working on the, the Kobe book. It's a big book. And uh, it's, it's a good read too. I mean, I was never into uh, like fictional stories. And it's, uh, it's, I mean, it's not, it's fictional, but it still has like a good, uh, um, meaning to it. It just basically talks about how it talks about five different players and each of them has fears. And basically you look yourself in the mirror and you have to conquer your fears every single day. As much as you try to hide it, it's still there when you look at yourself in the mirror. It's based with the book same. And that's what I'm taking it as. And, uh. It's true. I mean, you can act all fine when you're around people, but when that's just you in that mirror and you're looking in that mirror, those, those uh, it comes back to life. You see the flaws, or you're uh, insecure about yourself, or worried about something. You miss you and yourself. You you know something's wrong. So basically, it's talk about looking in the mirror and defeating those fears. And the best way to do it is to uh, go at it. You know, attack it. Don't shy away from it you run away from it you're never gonna uh uh get over your fears so you gotta you gotta go straight to it put yourself be vulnerable put yourself in situations uncomfortable so if you don't do that you're never gonna prosper you're never gonna do anything it's so gonna keep being that complacent life keep doing the same thing and you're never gonna be happy with yourself so biggest story biggest thing for me for y'all is to you know get uncomfortable stop being comfortable get uncomfortable make yourself vulnerable and then start doing things man that's all when i talk about my podcast it's the biggest thing for me i must say do it start something do it like that's the biggest thing man i swear life is good feels good and uh, i'm enjoying making these videos shout out to the people that uh watch my videos Shout out Adeline. She always be the first person to watch my videos and stuff like that. I want to get her on my uh, my uh, podcast or YouTube channel. She loves uh, 
camping and she she gets it she gets she has all her stuff down like to the t like if you want to learn how to camp got hit up adeline she knows we went on a trip last year in march for a joshua tree boom boom had a list you bring this you bring that and it was a successful trip man it was right before the pandemic it was crazy because we went down a joshua tree we had no signal and then when we come back up to the like basically where the signal is to walmart real quick to to get some stuff because we needed more stuff and then it was like a like what's wrong it was busy everyone's getting toilet paper we're like what the heck's going on it was on sunday and i when we went on social media and looked i was like, oh shit they're about to shut everything down and uh we're going back down and still enjoyed our time but yeah man i'm gonna get headline on here maybe we could uh record a video dolo time at the joshua tree or somewhere camping so you can see the setup they just got a my mom and headline just got a I don't know if it's an RV, it's like a little little mobile home thingy majig that her and my mom go on. That's a badass. Look at her go crazy. Come on, Zoe. Come on. She's going crazy, bro. All the fucking time. Alex. Man. Jeez, back to the same. They record a dolo time on there. You see the little setup. Appreciate you, Adeline. Love you. And uh, we're turning around the corner of my block. Usually it's like a little 15, 12 minute walk. Uh, a little bit more than half a mile. And gets her little heart going, gets her excited, and then she just relaxes and sits down. Yes, uh, Sunday I went to uh, some hike. She did really good. I think it was like two miles or whatnot. <laughs> two mile hike, maybe so four miles in total. I could tell she was getting tired of running up this steep hill. She was just not running no more. I was like, come on, girl. So you don't let your dad beat you. You better not let your dad beat you. And she's like, <laughs> but man, yeah, just, I wanted to record this while I was, while I was walking and talk to you guys. I always appreciate you guys. I mean, I'm going to get better. Like I keep saying, get better. We're going to get better. Have more guests. Have Hopefully, eventually, have a little studio we can go in. And have a little room. And, uh, yeah, appreciate you guys. There's my Carlos. Seeing nice and looking pretty, which is crazy. Yesterday was five years when I got a Dola. And then, shout out Dola. Gave me, turned her in. Got my, my Carlos. And uh, life is good, y'all. Make sure y'all take care of your mind, body, soul, spirit, all that stuff. Appreciate your time. And Dolo out.